So are you tired of saying I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me? I hope not because we are kind of in the middle of the review period. Today we are reviewing lesson 188 with lesson 208. God, I hope so. <laughs> the peace of God is shining in me now. Yeah, yesterday we blessed the world because we blessed ourselves. And today the peace of God is shining in me now. I will be still and let the earth be still along with me. And in that stillness, we will find the peace of God. It is within my heart, which witnesses to God himself. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. So that's your review today, it's very nice. I will be still, the earth is gonna be still along with me, and in that stillness we find the peace of God. And where do we find it? Within our hearts, which witnesses to God himself. So that's it. That's all you got to do today. Jesus for lesson 208 said, yeah, when you say these statements, the peace of God is in my heart. I will be still. The peace of God is in my mind. These A Course in Miracles statements are truth. So you say them as fact and you come to understand them as truth. Now, if you are not at peace, you're like, uh, I don't have the peace of God in my mind. If you're not at peace, you need to ask yourself, what am I doing that blocks my peace? What am I doing that blocks love? Well, it's your fear. Fearing interferes with your peace. So you need to change your mind. You need to change your mind about it, what you are fearing, and you need to change your mind before your beliefs manifest before you. So whatever you have happening in your life, see where you can find the belief that is manifesting. If it comes at me, it comes from me. Everything comes from within, including your own peace or lack of it. So own your contributions. And if you are not at peace, change your mind about it. I think that is excellent advice. I mean, own your own contributions. Like I'm doing this either way. If it's good, I am doing it. And if it's not good, I'm doing it. And it does take some bit of eh, stepping back to be like, whoa, I like literally do believe this fearful thing and then this stuff happens to me or whatever. But just look at, I mean, oh, think about your fears. You don't want to be manifesting that, do you? Do you? Do you? No, you don't. So change your mind about it. If, you've all, if you always fear someone's going to betray you, like you're putting that out there, change your mind about it. Remember like a, a half a dozen lessons ago or something? Um, we did that, that practice. Uh, if you have an intrusive thought, you say, no, I don't want to think about this. Instead, I want to think about, or instead I will think about, like you stop that nasty little thought in its tracks because what you think about it again and again and again, your thoughts add up to your beliefs. So you have to change your mind about it. Pathways of Light. Dot org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook, Lesson 208, Insights. Review. I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. The peace of God is shining in me now. This world was made as a fence to keep God out. One of the chief ego mechanisms to keep awareness of God's presence hidden is to keep us preoccupied with all the forms found in this world of separation. As long as the ego can keep us busy with endless pursuits that cannot bring us the peace of God, the ego thought system remains intact. 
In this world, most, if not all, of the hours of the day are spent directly or indirectly taking care of the body, which we believe is our identity. We are either working to earn money to pay for food, clothing, or housing for the body, or we are spending time giving it rest, bathing it, exercising it, preening it, trying to make it acceptable, whatever that means to us. When we are not actively involved in these things, we worry about things that could happen to the body, so we build defenses to protect against what might happen. This image that we have of ourselves is so fragile that it seems it can be damaged by as little as a word or a momentary glance, which can throw us into guilt or fear in an instant. All of this keeps our attention on a frantic and frenzied agenda to protect what we think we are. Yet this image has nothing to do with our true reality, with our self as God created us. This is why we are asked to repeat many times a day for 20 days. I am not a body. I am free for I am still as God created me. This repetition will help us loosen our identification with the false image we have held of ourselves. Each time, we can take a moment to be still, to set aside the frenzy of the world ever so little. We move a step closer to recognizing the peace of God that is shining in us right now. As we can still our minds and feel the peace of God, we feel his safety and his strength. The body does not need our protection. It will reflect the safety we know when we remember the peace of God that is shining in our hearts. We are not asked to give up our identification with the body in one fell swoop, for the seeming sacrifice would be too frightening. We are simply asked to practice giving our attention to the fact that we are not a body. This practice will gently wean us from thinking we are a body to recognizing that we are in fact love's extension, wholly safe in love. While re we remain in the dream of this world, we will continue doing things to care for the body, but we will recognize more and more that many of the things we thought would keep us safe or make us feel better really accomplish nothing. And so our life will become simpler and easier. Gradually, more of our time is used for awakening and serving the awakening of others. Our brothers become less and less adversaries and more and more seen as friends and companions, helping us return home. I am grateful to be reminded that the peace of God is shining in me now. The merry-go-round of this world will continue to go round and round until we choose to stop it. On this merry-go-round, it feels like a swirl of activity, but we are really going nowhere. We are going round and round, repeating the past over and over until we decide to step off and give our mind a rest from the ego thought system. Once we step off, there is quiet. There is stillness. We can experience the peace of God. We can hear the Holy Spirit and be aware of its returning us to the truth. The doorway through which we return home is through quieting our minds. When our minds are filled with the ego thought system, there is no room left to feel the peace of God. The peace of God is felt when all that 
is laid down. The peace of God is eternal. It is always there, waiting for our return. The peace of God is what we are. We may step back on the merry-go-round, but this time we have a new purpose. Everything is given a new meaning. We see everything differently. We realize how important it is to frequently step off and go to that quiet place in our minds where our Holy Spirit brings us peace and understanding. Our gratitude overflows as we learn to let go of fear thoughts and return to the love we are. We remember, we are not a body, we are free. Nothing has changed. We are eternally extensions of love and nothing else. Just love eternally. In truth, we do live happily ever after as one, as love. Pathways of Light org. All right, then. Sounds good to me. Let's remember who we truly are eternally. I am not a body. I am free for I am still as God created me. So yeah, this is a 20 day review. We are going to do some changing of the mind right now. The peace of God is shining in me now. I will be still and let the earth be still along with me. And in that stillness, we find the peace of God. It is within my heart, which witnesses to God himself. So that's what we're doing again and again and again. I am not a body. I am free for I am still as God created me. So I hope you're enjoying the review. I mean, what else is there really to do?